Okay, it's uh, day 13 for my uh, graphs uh, on uh, two days after I grafted on Memorial Day um, and on Wednesday that Wednesday it uh, it appeared that we had 39 out of 39 out of 45 I believe uh, took so put them back in and uh, over in a cell right finisher for the next well nine days I guess and uh, well next seven days actually and uh, so today's the day today is uh, June 9th and uh, I'm not quite done raising queens here yet. I'm going to do one more round, but uh, I have to protect these cells so that when they emerge, um, they don't go and kill everything else. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm putting them in um, I'm putting them in roller cages, and uh, I have roller cages that will go in the frame they'll go right back into the cell finisher and as they emerge the bees will care for them through the uh, through the little openings they'll get fed the other ones I'm putting into my uh, uh, incubator and uh, I have all these set up for my incubator and uh, the only thing with the incubator is that when they emerge they're going to be hungry so I put a small bit of honey crystallized honey uh, down the bottom of each cup so that when they emerge they have something to uh, feed until they get placed in a nuke um, again today's Wednesday so I'm not going to be able to get um, build my nukes and get them out until Saturday so I'm just trying to uh, you know these are going to emerge on Saturday, but in case they emerge on Friday, kind of one of those deals. So uh, planning for uh, the just in case, I guess you could say. Got my smoker going. Um, got my bee brush right here. It'll open up the finisher colony here, and uh, we'll get going here. It is hotter than hell. It's 95 degrees outside. And uh, but it's you know 4:30 or five quarter of five in the, in, in the evening, and uh, I don't know what the what the bees are doing for nectar uh, lately here. Um, sometimes when it gets too hot and not enough rain, um, there's not a lot of nectar coming in. We did get a little rain last night. Maybe they'll bring, be bringing stuff in. I know they get a little stressed, get a little ornery when they uh, when they aren't bringing much in. Well, they got them all finished off. Here you go. They're off of them, actually, which is kind of funny because uh, I think it's just because it's so hot in the um, so in the uh, set in the finisher. But uh, I see there's a few more taken down. Um, the middle row had 15. And I see one was taken down, so now it's only 14. Bottom row had 12, 
and now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, still got 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the top row still has 12, so I only took down one. So I ended up with 38, looks like. So we'll just get going and we'll get them in, in there. It's kind of nice that uh, no bees on the queen cells here. This is going to make it really, 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 really easy to take these off. These are all from the same queen, so you know, even though I got different color cells, these are all from the same queen, so it, it doesn't really matter what, how I put these away. see plenty of I can still see some uh, royal jelly not a lot I got this. That's going to go back in here real quick. I'm just going to move this down, make it easier on myself. Not the biggest cells, but produce good queens the last time okay baby I don't really want to lay them down but... I can see the larvae in there, so that's good. They still got three days.
Okay, this bar is ready to go back into the cell builder here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide it back in there. Well, oh my God, this thing is full of honey. Absolutely loaded with honey. I gotta get a, here's a something cell builder has built out and filled it full of nectar there so getting my combs built which is nice there's another one built out and another one that got built out I got three built out that's nice Okay. There was a big space behind this feeder. Not one little bit of brood of uh, burr comb is being built behind that feeder. That's why I do what I do. Okay. This one's gonna be a toughie. Oh, do they are building Burkholm on it for some ungodly reason. Okay. So Not too bad, not too bad. I tell you, a little trick that I learned from a friend. And that was to shave the shoulders off of these graph frames. And that gets it tight. It decreases the amount of bee space and um, the bees won't build burkholm in there. As long as you're not over there by the kids, that's all I care about. Just trying to hang on there. Okay. Got all those in there. Those are in there. 
Pretty good. I'll take it. Okay, that's it. Uh, Got to place these in the incubator right now. And uh, on Saturday, we'll be building some nukes uh, to put all these cells in. Uh, caught three swarms uh, earlier this week. And uh, those are going to be some bees I'm going to use for my uh, mating nukes. So free bees. We've got to love that. Till next time, happy beekeeping. Remember, all beekeeping is local. Take care. Whew, I deserve this. Oh, jeez.